labor migration has been a long-standing phenomenon amongst many South Asian countries since it contributes to improved economic outcomes both at the individual and national levels. The process of return and reintegration of migrant workers to their country of origin is recognized as a crucial step in the migration cycle. A mapping and assessment report was jointly commissioned by IOM and the ILO under the governance of labor migration in South and Southeast Asia, Goals Program, in collaboration with UN Women. The three-year Goals Program is supported by the Swiss Agency for Development and Cooperation, SDC. The report seeks to map out and assess the nature and gaps in the reintegration support provided to returnee migrant workers from five South Asian Colombo Process member states Bangladesh, India, Nepal, Pakistan and Sri Lanka. The return and reintegration of migrant workers is a complex process. The situation can be even more difficult when migrants are returning in large numbers due to extraordinary events such as economic, political and health crises. Origin countries are expected to provide returnees with economic, social and psychosocial reintegration services. South Asian countries have taken measures to develop policies pertaining to the return and reintegration of migrant workers. However, further actions could be taken to strengthen and improve existing support mechanisms. The Goals Assessment Report prescribes a number of recommendations. The findings of the report provide valuable insights into the existing support measures at the structural, community and individual levels in terms of the labour market and economic, social and psychosocial dimensions of reintegration within each country considered. While we hope that the findings of the mapping report will be useful for policymakers and other stakeholders in South Asia, it also has an additional purpose. The findings of the mapping were used to inform the development of a manual for the sustainable reintegration of returning migrant workers from South Asia, produced under the Goals Programme. With a focus on gender, IOM and UN Women worked to produce a manual embodying best practices for use within the region and indeed based on existing national best practices across the South Asian Colombo Process member states. The manual has been subject to an extensive consultation process with government representatives and civil society and other stakeholders. Returning migrant workers can play an important role in social and economic development in origin countries as they bring back knowledge, skills and experiences that can be beneficial to their countries. While some migrant workers return to welcoming contacts and reintegrate in a smoother manner, many often face challenges reintegrating into their home communities and labour market. Therefore, it is important for governments in the region to ground their policy in a gender-responsive manner and ensure that family members of returnees are included in the reintegration support and services. We hope that the proposed guidelines and actions in the manual may be adapted for operationalization by governments, civil society and social partners, enabling all returning migrant workers and their families to make use of the benefits of return migration sustainably. All reintegration interventions should apply gender-responsive approaches, which include identifying gender-based barriers faced by returning migrant workers and developing gender-specific programs to ensure that the specific needs and concerns of all returning migrant workers, especially women, are addressed and that they have equal opportunities to enjoy dignified and sustainable reintegration. The Regional Reintegration Manual has been developed as a practical tool. To consider the changing realities of labour migration, the Goals Programme has pilot tested the manual in line with Objective 21 of the Global Compact for Safe, Orderly and Regular Migration. We are hopeful that the manual will serve as a useful reference for the Colombo Process Member States.